Hi guys, welcome back. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to install Fire Linked on your Amazon Fire Stick. I'm gonna use Amazon Fire Stick 4K for video purpose, and I'm gonna show you this way by using the downloader. Of course, I'm gonna show you how to do it step by step, so just follow my steps and you will have your Fire Linked on your Fire Stick device. <clears throat> First thing you gotta do, on the top menu, you keep pressing the right button till you go to settings and you go once down and then all the way on the right till you find my fire tv then you press ok on it you go once down to developer options press ok and then change adb debugging from off to on and then apps from unknown sources from off to on but when you press ok button like i'm doing now you will see this notification. Don't worry about it, just press OK again. And then by pressing the home button, going back to this, and then pressing just once left, and then go down and start tapping in downloader. When you put like three or four letters, you can see downloader right down there so I'm gonna press a few times down till I highlight it you see downloaded you press ok on it and then you go to that orange icon saying downloader and the arrow pointed down go down press ok on it and then without touching anything or pressing anything you can see download it says I own it if you do it for the first time you probably will say get it or something like that so this is still the same way just my say something different so just press ok and it will start downloading and then installing when you've done it just press ok again and you will see this every time you install a new app on your fire stick device or fire stick it will ask you to allow access to your fire stick or fire device so you have to even if this is something different than downloader, it will always ask you for the first time you open it. So you gotta press allow, press OK, and then you see this. This is like a manual, so just press OK on it. And then now you, you see the cursor flashing. Just keep pressing the uh, arrow, the left till you till you be on a uh, orange background, and then go down to settings, press OK, and then go right. And then when you see enable JavaScript, if 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 it's not marked like that, it's unmarked, then press OK on it, and then you will see this. Don't worry about it, just go on yes, press OK. And now your downloader is configured. So what you gotta do, just press your home button and then open it again, but you don't need to do it, so just go back left and then go up to home, press OK, and then press OK again. And delete till you be by there HTTP and then add S to it and then colon forward slash forward slash www dot file linked. dot com when you got that link tapped in yeah you can pause it now the link will be in the description anyway and you hit go press it and then it will open a file linked website you can see that red pointer yeah just using it by pressing the arrows so just go down to download file linked and then press OK and we'll start downloading and now we'll ask you do you want to install it so what you just do just press right and then OK and then it will install it and now you can just press done or open if you press open it will open but what I want you to do now just keep press OK on done and this window is asking you what you want to do with uh, 
installation file. So just go and delete, press OK, and then go and delete again and press OK. And the file which was downloaded will be deleted. That will save you some space. And now, just pressing the home button, you can find file link by going not to the recent, to your apps and channels. Go all the way right till you see see all, you press OK on it. And then when you go all the way down, you see your file link, you can open it. Or the other way, just keep pressing the home button for about three or four seconds and then pressing OK on apps. And then going down till you find it, press OK. And it will open your file link. And now you just need a code and a pin. And then that's it. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe me and then I'll make some more simple videos for you. Thank you very much and see you in the next video. Is a video of how to use IPTV Smarters with LWTV. So once you install IPTV Smarters, click on the icon, it will come up with this. Click accept, click add new user. And then go to login with extreme codes API. And you can call it LWTV. And then you put in your username, so it'll be your email address. So I'm just going to put in this. And then your password. Which is the same username and password you use for the LTQ app and the most important thing you need to put in is this address here so it's http colon forward slash forward slash l w t v pro dot d d n s dot net two five four six one and then you simply click on add user and then once you click on add user it will load up all the information it will load up all the channels and you are done